fascinating in, in terms of massive amount of data, massive amount of compute, all connected, right? Mm -hmm. Each participating in this uh, automation driven by AI everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. I was just. I was going to say, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I was go just going to give a sense of the drama associated with the learning curves. So, if you look at um, EVs, so battery pack systems are the biggest cost component of an electric vehicle, and we know that for every cumulative doubling in the number of EVs produced, costs of the battery pack system will drop twenty eight percent. So that by twenty twenty five the Toyota Camry will still cost $25,000, $26,000 US dollars. Uh, however, the like for like 350 mile range electric vehicle will cost $18,000. That is wow. real drama and that's why this electric vehicle, and, and you can uh, say the same thing for uh, DNA sequencing. For every cumulative doubling in the number of whole human genome sequenced, and there were 2.6 uh, million last year. Ultimately, there will be trillions. When we, uh, the uh, cost decline for short read sequencing is 40%. For long read sequencing, it's 28%. These are huge cost declines. And that's why we're ready for, for prime time. We've hit the sweet spot of the curve. So what we have here are S-curves, 14 different technologies, S-curves all in, in moving into position. And then we have S curves intersecting with the other S curves, this convergence idea. And I've, yeah. tried, to, I've tried to help uh, our clients understand how important it is to focus on this. Uh, and the best way to do that, I think, is someone gave me this analogy. Um, imagine you're in the ocean and waves are colliding, right? What mm -hmm. happens? Some ships are, move up, some ships sink. But uh, the, the, eco, the energy in the ecosystem is explosive. And that's why I think the growth rates are going to be explosive going wow. forward.